Hello one and all, my name is Rio and welcome to another match day vlog. So, as you all may know, I was supposed to be watching my team, Chester FC, play Gateshead at home today. However, last night at 7 o'clock, it was postponed due to a waterlogged pitch. So sadly for the second out of three weeks, Chester FC aren't in action today, so once again, I will have to seek an alternative game. So, instead today, I will be heading to Lancashire to watch Blackburn Rovers play Swansea City at home in the Skybet Championship. So, to avoid a wasted day, I am going to Ewoods Park because I have never been there before, so cannot wait to go to a new stadium today. So... It is quite a big game today because both Blackburn and Swansea are hoping to get in the playoff places and, in turn, promotion back to the Premier League. So it should be a really good contest today. So I will be in the Swansea end today, so looking forward to it now. So, of course, I do hope you enjoy today's match day vlog. If so, please like, subscribe and comment down your thoughts of the game below. So, let's get into today's match day vlog right now. Enjoy! <laughs> Blackburn Rovers are based in Lancashire and they have had quite a solid season so far because although they have spent most of it in mid-table, in recent weeks Rovers' form has picked up as they are unbeaten in four matches prior to today's game. So Blackburn will be hoping to gate crash the playoff places to mount a return to the Premier League and Blackburn have quite a good squad as well because they have really experienced players such as uh, Danny Graham, Charlie Moore and also some younger players such as Bradley Dack and Adam Armstrong who is their top goal scorer. So Blackburn have quite a good squad and also as you all may know Tony Mowbray is their manager having had spells at Middlesbrough and Coventry City in recent years so again he is quite a decent manager too so Blackburn are having quite a good season so I think it will be quite an entertaining game today. <laughs> Swansea City will be making the long journey up from Glamorgan in South Wales having had a good season as well because at the start of play today Swansea sits just one place and one point below Blackburn so it will be quite a close contest today so again Swansea they will be hoping to get into the playoffs to mount a return to the Premier League and to be fair Swansea have spent a lot of the season in the playoffs as they started off really well and in December and January I do believe they had uh, quite a sticky spell where they uh, dropped down to 10th I do believe but since then Swansea have picked up some decent results so as it's as it stands Swansea are having quite a good season in my opinion and also their manager Steve Cooper I think he is doing quite a good job as well because a lot, a lot of people were doubting him when he was appointed as their new manager back in the summer but I do think he's doing quite a good job for uh, Swansea so I do think some patience is needed but hopefully Swansea will do well this season just like Blackburn and I do wish both of the clubs all the best for the rest of the season. <laughs> My score forecast for today's game is Blackburn Rovers 2, Swansea City 1. So for Blackburn, I think Adam Armstrong and Danny Graham will score for them. And for the Jacks, I think it will be Andre Ayew who will score for the visitors today. So I do think it will be quite a close game today with both nothing really separating the two sides. But I do think home advantage will do Blackburn well today. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
my match day vlog will be coming up right now, so stay tuned. So, of course, I cannot wait to go to Ewood Park for the very first time today. It looks quite a big stadium, so cannot wait to go in there today. So, sadly, still no action for Chester FC today, so I am still rather disappointed about our match being called off. However, I am still going to Blackburn today, so hopefully it will be quite an entertaining game for the neutrals. So, of course, I do hope you enjoy today's match day vlog. If so, please like, subscribe and comment down your thoughts of the game below. So stay tuned. Should be a really good day for me today. Do you remember It's true. They got a message for the action man. I have now arrived at Ewood Park ready for today's game so the journey went pretty well from Chester so just arrived now just over one hour before kickoff so it is quite a nice stadium nice and big uh, you know the, the stand to the right of me is pretty poor and small but other than that a really nice stadium so it should be a really good game today both teams do need the points for the same reason as both Blackburn and Swansea will be hoping to gate crash the playoff places so looking forward to it today should be a really good game and hopefully a lot of goals as well so looking forward to it now hopefully be a fantastic spectacle <laughs> Here is your Blackburn Rovers squad for today's game. And here is your Swansea City squad for today's match. Enjoy the vlog.
Blackburn Rovers 2, Swansea City 2, so I thought it was a really entertaining game today because there were a lot of goals, injury time drama and the atmosphere was really good as well today, so I thought it made up for Chester FC's game being called off today, so in general I had a really enjoyable day out at Blackburn today. So on to the first half then, so I thought the first period was quite an even one because once he started off as the better team because for the opening 15 minutes of the game Swansea were a really good attacking side and it was mostly all Swansea. However Blackburn soon started to get back into the game and it was Blackburn Rovers who made it 1-0 on the 25th minute mark as Sam Gallagher tapped home to make it 1-0 to the hosts. Before half time though, Swansea City responded really well to make it one all, as on loan Liverpool forward Rian Brewster scored for Swansea City to make it one all, so he scored a really good powerful goal to make it one all. Meanwhile, the second period was a lot more lively and entertaining because there were two penalties and, of course, injury time drama as well. So, to be fair, I thought Swansea marginally were the better team in the second half as they started off really well and, of course, they came from one goal down to lead 2-1. So, it was Swansea City who made it 2-1 just moments into the second half as Andre Ayew scored a penalty to make it 2-1 in front of the travelling Swansea City supporters. A few moments later though, Blackburn Rovers had a penalty as well. However, Danny Grail missed, so the Swansea goalie made a fantastic save to parry the ball out to prevent Danny Graham from scoring a, another equaliser for Blackburn. So, in my opinion, for the opening 25 minutes of the half, Swansea were by far the better team, so to one extent, you can argue the late equaliser is a little bit harsh on Swansea. However, to another extent, for the last 15 minutes of the game, Blackburn got back into the game and they fought back really well as they pressurised Swansea so well and Swansea sat back so deep. So, in my opinion, Blackburn's injury time equaliser was coming and eventually, in the 95th minute, because there were seven minutes of injury time added on due to an injury to a Swansea player, it was ex-Leeds United player Brasley Johnson who scored for Blackburn Rovers to make it to all so he smashed home at the right place at the right time to cause absolute pandemonium amongst the Blackburn Rovers supporters so fair play to both teams today I thought it was an excellent game of football and I do wish both Blackburn and Swansea City all the best for the rest of the season in their playoff <laughs> Chester FC's next match is on Tuesday night as we play Tramia Rovers at home in the Cheshire Senior Cup quarter-final. So a home match against Hyde United is the prize in the semi-final for whoever does win on Tuesday night. So it will be quite an interesting game against Tramia. So I will be rather interested to see what sort of team we do play because, of course, yesterday's game does mean that we do have a couple of days extra rest. So it will be quite intriguing to see how we do approach Tuesday's game because don't forget on Saturday we have a huge game away at Bradford Park Avenue AFC where we simply have to win as Bradford are bottom. So three points on Saturday is a necessity so it will be rather interesting to see who we do play on Tuesday. <laughs> Thank you. 
as ever, I will be going on Tuesday if it goes ahead, of course. So on Monday, I will upload a match day preview. And of course, on Tuesday, I will do a vlog of Chester FC's home game against Tramia Rovers. So, of course, I do hope you enjoyed today's neutral match day vlog. If so, make sure to like, subscribe if you are new, and also comment down your thoughts of the game below. So, see you on Tuesday. A big game in the Cheshire Senior Cup against local rivals. <laughs>